Can this world be fixed? Can can there be change to come out of everything that's going on in this world? Um, yeah, the answer the answer is yes. It's all to do with our free will and uh, the Word of God and what what Jesus Christ has done for us. But it's it's the deliverance of the nations can only come through um, through God. And through our um, our response to him, so you know, we're in the UK, it's very anti-Christ, very anti-Christ society. A lot of push towards transgender, a lot of push towards homosexuality, and you know, equality, equality, and um, things like that. Um, but it's not natural. It's not. It's not the way God made it to be. It's sin. Um, you know, let's just call it what it is. Um, that God, God loves them. You know, God loves hom homosexuals. He loves transgenders. Uh, the thing is, it's not going to make them happy. Whatever they're trying to do, society can accept it, but it's not accepted by God. Uh, he loves them, but it's not. You know, you can't have children. The the whole point of God's creation was to. You know, to, to go far from multiply to to that he can enjoy, you know, the fruits of, of what he has made. You know, and we are to the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross by his death, burial, and resurrection was to reconcile us to a holy God because all have sinned. You know, we've all sinned, we've all missed the mark of God's perfection. It's all about having his righteousness, having his perfection. It's not about turning from sin. It's not about doing good works. It's not. These aren't going to appease. You can't appease God. The only way we can be right with God is to believe in his son. You know, in the Lord Jesus Christ, who, who is God. You know, his name means Jehovah is salvation. God who is our savior. So the way to, to create a change in this world is to do it God's way. Is to do it through believe in the gospel how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose on the third day according to the scriptures so this is this is the way that we come into God's family this is this is how we're baptized uh, into the family of God we're born again with Christ's righteousness is imputed onto our account and it's through faith simple faith in the work of the Lord Jesus Christ Nothing to do with what I do. Nothing to do with what you do. It's all of Christ. And yet the message today by the church is 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 a message of works for salvation. They are they don't believe God. They don't believe the all sufficiency of what Jesus has done. So the change must come from born again believers, who then continue in the Word. You know, become disciples. Disciple just means a learner. So you become a learner of the word of God. You know, you you um you continue in his word. You know, drink in the word, read the word. Is it's the milk. And then it speaks of um the studying the word of God, you know, meat, having the meat of the word of God, you know, so that's so that you become strong, so that you your discernment grows. You know, we need discernment in, in this world that we're living in. And because there's so much deception, there's so much so much of something that seems right, so much light, but where is that light coming from? Is it a false light? Is it the false light of Lucifer? You know, it might look right, but you know, what does the word of God say? So, you know, as as Christians we we should be we should be sharing the gospel so that people can be saved because heaven and hell are real places because John three sixteen makes it clear for God so, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so perish so it's talking about everlasting life so perish is talking about an everlasting destruction and everlasting um well, it's not everlasting life, is it? It's 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 not um it's not a, a place of peace, like what what God gives, 
and I know um, sometimes you think, sometimes I, I consider like, you know, is, is this really real, you know, and does it, does it really have to be this way? And when you look at it from God's perspective, you know, God is holy. <clears throat> One sin sent Jesus to the cross and we're all sinners. And he came to, to die in our place because the wages of sin is death. He, he bore, you know, excruciating pain on the, on the cross when he was being mocked, when he was being laughed at when they were telling him to come down from the cross, you know, prove yourself to, to be God if you're the son of God. And yet, you know, Jesus Jesus knew what he had to do. He knew that there would be, that millions, you know, billions would come to him, um, you know, through his sacrifice. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's important where we, where we put our faith in today is, so important about what we do with the Lord Jesus Christ, what we do with with this with this gospel message, because it's not um, it, it's not very available. Um, because a lot of people, I think, maybe in the maybe the sincere, you know, maybe they think that they're telling the truth of what God's word says. You know that maybe they're saying, "Repent of your sin." and come to Christ without in, in ignorance because they've be, they've heard that from another human and actually not read the word of God but it's um verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me hath everlasting life so he that believes on the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done for us as humankind is born into the family of God and, you know we've got everlasting life right now he um these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear for people who who um, hear the word God, who hear the word Jesus Christ and think it's uh, automatically think religion, automatically think I've got to do something. But all you got to do is repent. You've got to change your mind about what is going to save you, what is going to give you eternal life. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ of what he's done for you. And then, you know, we should continue in his word because he loves us so much that he died for us. He would rather die for us than live without us. You know, that is the truth of what the Bible, what the Bible says. And um, it's a beautiful gift. It's a beautiful gift, but... You know, we're at a time where there's so much suffering and yet God is using that suffering, pushing people because would people really, um, would, would people look to God without this suffering? Probably not, no. Um, so so the suffering can be used for good, but it's only through, it's only through God, it's only through the biblical God, Jehovah, it's only through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who's died for us. And it's this if, if more people become born again, more people can be saved. You know, there's a scripture that I pray regularly, uh, and he saith unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers, if you pray ye the Lord of the harvest, that he would send laborers into his harvest. So Jesus is the Lord of the harvest, you know, the the world is um, is where we can plant the seeds and all we can do is plant the seeds. We can't make anyone believe. But the, the Holy Spirit is here today to convict the world of sin, righteousness and judgment. And Jesus said, of sin because they believe not on me. So, um, so it's a sin to reject the Lord Jesus Christ and what he's done. Um, but um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video um, because... There's so much, um, yeah. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of people questioning what's going on in this world today. But um, it can't be fixed through human flesh. It can't be. The resolution is not there. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's got to be 
through through people getting saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. So, and then, you know, God God can heal. God can heal the nations. God can step in. You know, just read the old read the Old Testament stories of how, you know, God told a nation to do something, and you know, if they didn't do it, He brought judgment. And if He did, you know, He um brought healing. So um, people need to be saved, and I, I put a few, I put a few gospel messages on, like one of Vernon Coleman's messages yesterday. Um, even though I've I've got the message to Vernon, there was also this group on um, Brand YouTube that are, that are meeting on the twenty first of November. You know, he's just asking for you know people who who want to stand. You know, people who who got some solutions. Um, you know about land and things like that, but and and I put the gospel message on that on that message too. But it was um, what I found strange is that the comment was being held for moderation. So um, if if it's not if it's not um, published, then it's clear that um, even sites like Ban YouTube is against. The Lord Jesus Christ is against Christianity, so we must be very careful, be very discerning, be very bold in, um, you know, sharing the good news and, and where we can, and you know, just hope and pray that for, for God's intervention, that people will come to Him, that people will see it's not about us doing anything; it's all what He's done for us, and then we can. We can serve him out of love, but that has no bearing on eternal life. And, you know, salvation and discipleship are, are, are separate. Not everyone becomes um, a disciple. You know, just read the, the parable of the sower, you know, the four seeds, and only one, one gets, um, one is where Satan comes and, and, and takes it out of the heart. So it's there's no root, but the but the other three soils, you know, obviously one bears fruit, one, one, you know, the other seed one continues, but when persecution comes, they fall away, and then some some continue for a while, and it, the cares of this world just um, seduce them. So it's um. This is why, you know, we should continue in the Word. This is why we should read the Word of God. With, because it's, it's important. Because God can use us. He can use us for good. Because, you know, there's, the rapture hasn't happened yet. God is, is long-suffering. He, he doesn't want anyone to perish. For the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But he's long-suffering to us, would, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, all to come to a change of mind, all to see what God has done for them through the Lord Jesus Christ. All to see that it's love. And that he is, he is he has his hand out saying, come to me. Everything that's happening in this world is, is being used by God for good. For people to come to him because Jesus came to, to save us from our sins. To die in our, in our place and also to save us from an eternal hell. And, you know, if churches are not warning about this and warning about what is coming for those who reject Jesus, you know, before the rapture of the church, who will go through the tribulation, you know, this will be even worse than what is happening in this world today. Because, uh, and there was a, there will be a, a chance that, that these people will may be deceived by the Antichrist who will say he's the Messiah. Because he will come back from the dead through the power of Satan. So um, all we can do is warn as Christians, all we can do is give the good news and the simplicity that is in Christ, in what he has done for us by his death, burial and resurrection. And um, just hope, you know, just keep praying that people will come to him because, uh, you know, there can be a revival. Um, but it's it's down to, the you know, the, the remnant, the believers that are here today, the born-again believers. Thanks very much for listening and uh, God bless you, Dave.